Okay, family. I have a prayer right now of uh, that I use to bless my oil, um, that I use to anoint my home and my children and myself with. And uh, I'm just putting it out there because I, I realize that um, a lot of you might not have a, a prayer that you say over your oil. And um, it just might help somebody out there. So even if it only helps only one person out there, then... I'm putting this prayer out, and I will have it listed underneath. In Jesus' name, amen. Father God, by prayer and faith, I come to you on bended knee, and I ask that you purify and bless this oil, so that I might anoint my family and house with this holy, blessed oil, which represents the pure blood of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. As it is written in Romans 5 and 9, much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. As it is written in Hebrews 9 and 22, and almost all things are by the law purged with blood, and without the shedding of blood there is no remission. Lord, I apply the blood of Jesus Christ over all legal grounds. Your blood can be applied over my spirit, over my soul, over my body. I cover myself and everything surrounding me with the blood of Jesus. I cover my mind, my consciousness, and my subconsciousness from all attacks with the blood of Jesus. I cover my home and my family and all who dwell within its walls with the blood of Jesus. I have applied the blood over the areas of myself in my life, and therefore the adversary has no place in me, or my family, or this dwelling place. The adversary has no power over me because of the cleansing protection of the blood of Jesus. My body is a temple for the Holy Spirit of God. I am redeemed, cleansed, sanctified, and justified by the blood of Jesus. And now where the blood has been applied, I claim victory by the blood of the Lamb of God in Jesus' most holy, holy, holy name. I ask Father God to have his angels to stand guard over my family and our home until we are reunited with our first love in your heavenly realm. Father, surround us with your holy fire hedge of protection from the throne room of God and the fortification of the blood of Jesus. Please send your forces to drive back the enemies, the powers that are not from you, Father God. Father, your word says that your adversaries of the Lord shall be broken into pieces. From heaven he will thunder. Your word says, Against them, Lord, break your enemies in pieces, in your perfect timing, and bring salvation, restoration, and healing to all people who are involved. I proclaim my family and our home are fully protected by our Father God and the blood of Jesus. And as written in Exodus 12, 13, and 12, 23, and any enemies or destroyers will see the blood covering on our property and pass us by and not come into our home. And the plagues will pass us by in Jesus Christ, my King and Savior's most holy, holy name. Amen and amen. I hope this blessed you out there or somebody out there that was having a hard time looking for a way to um, pray over your oil in order to be able to use it to anoint your home or your families. And... Um, as with everything else, you can take it into your prayer closets and ask uh, um, God if this is from him or not. Okay? And trust in no man or in no woman, but put your full faith and trust in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Um, I know things are, going, are about ready to get, uh, we're about ready to um, now move into the storm. I think uh, right now we were in the eye of the storm, and now we're getting ready to move back out into the storm. And things are going to start happening. Uh, both in the uh, United States of America and in the Middle East and other places throughout the world. So I pray that you are all covered by the blood of Jesus and that you armor up daily and that you stand with me. Stand with me and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He makes the crooked pathway straight for us and he, has, and he is our rear guard. Greater is he that is in me than he, is, than he that is in the world. Stand with me this day, church. Okay? And when things begin to get tough, you stand then too, and you proclaim the glory, the glory of God to any and all who will listen. And you let your light shine forth. Let his light shine forth through you so that we can bring many of them home. In Jesus Christ's most holy, holy, holy name. God bless you all. Amen.